I'm Toymaker ZW, and today we have a request from Hannah to recreate her favorite action figure, Mrs. Nesbitt, which she only got to play with for a few minutes before losing her forever after leaving the room. So today, we are going to help her rediscover Mrs. Nesbitt with this bootleg Buzz Lightyear, a few accessories that I bought, and some that I printed with the Mighty 8K printer. Well, did you know that Mrs. Nesbitt teapot actually exists in real life? The world's most famous teapot. It's called the Utah Teapot, the first realistic complex object to be widely used in computer graphics. As we have seen from a Windows screensaver, The Simpsons, and of course, Toy Story. Which means there are 3D models readily available on the internet. So all we had to do is to modify it to make it printable. The most important thing here is of course, to make sure that we get the scale right. So I took the Kingdom Hearts 3 Buzz Lightyear model to scale the teapot according to its palms. And that should be good enough. We've also previously used the Kingdom Hearts model to make a toy mode version. And now, it is time to modify it into the iconic Mrs. Nesbitt expression. She's extremely expressive and a little crazy, but I like this expression the most. So let's try to replicate it. I'll deal with her mouth first, which looks hilarious that she's going, whoa! Her eyebrows are also incredibly curvy compared to the frown that Buzz has. So we're going to pull the eyebrows upward. I kind of cheated because I just mirrored the expression over so I didn't have to do the same thing twice. Then we just gotta adjust the curves to make them look slightly different. Now we can start moving her eyeballs to make her cross-eyed to level up that insanity factor. After adding some eyelids, we tilted her neck and we are ready for printing. As per usual, we're going to hollow them out and place some support on the islands like we have always done. But Mrs. Nesbitt is a little different because of her whoa mouth. It is literally a mini suction cup and if there isn't a hole, the printing might fail. So I decided to go back and put a hole through her mouth. Now we are ready to print with the Mighty 8K and the Aqua Vanilla 8K resin. While the printer is hard at work, let's take a look at our sacrifice of the day. A knockoff Buzz Lightyear that I bought 3 years ago, which was also featured in our bootleg unboxing video so please refer to that video if you would like to know more. Speaking of unboxing videos, I am trying to upload every single week by alternating between crafting videos and unboxing videos which we did in March and it would really help the channel if you could give these videos a chance so that the algorithm will recommend the channel to more people every week. I really appreciate your help. Finally, after so long, we are going to give him a new life by turning him into a her. I bought these accessories from a creator in China using their local app Xianyu and they are not bad. The head is definitely 3D printed with PLA and not resin but it's good enough because I bought this primarily for this, the apron because I don't know how to sew and this is pretty well made with a ribbon for the neck and even clips for the waist. However, as you know me, I'm a sucker for accuracy so I don't like how skinny this heart is. Also, it has some wrinkles when it's ironed on, the embroidery is too thick and the cloth is too shiny. So let's fix it by taking a photo to work on it on my computer. Okay, first I am going to remove the waistband. Then I will remove the entire background, give it the right shade of pink and replace the skinny heart with a nice fat one. Then we will try to remake the border patterns and duplicate them throughout the apron, mirror them over and that's it. I'm going to print it out on this fabric sheet which feels like real cloth and it's way less shinier than the original apron. It printed out really well but that's not all because we are going to deal with the borders. I'm going to use some leather cords to glue them down along the lines and after pasting on all the borders, I'm going to apply some UV resin to kind of give the inner pattern some volume. Then we're going to paint the white into pink and it is done. Well, the prints are done as well just after 12 hours and they look so pretty. Honestly, the Mighty 8K has never failed me and I can always press print and come back the next morning expecting a successful print. Now we just need to cure them further to solidify them using the Cure Mega S for about 10 minutes and I can't wait to take a closer look at our amazing prints. Oh, look at her goofy face. I'm so excited to paint this. But of course, we still have to remove these nasty supports. But do you know what supports are not nasty? Our supporters from Coffee, Patreon, and YouTube membership. If you want to watch our videos earlier than the rest, 
make sure to join us on any of your preferred platform. Even the lowest tier on YouTube membership will get you early access and it will also help me make more videos. Thank you so much for your support. And now the prints are centered and they look so nice but we still have to cover some things up with UV party like all those little support holes on the teapot and the very big hole that we made in her mouth. Then after some final sanding, everything is smooth. Even though we are not going to be drinking tea out of this teapot because of resin poisoning, I would still like to use Apollo to drill the opening bigger to give the illusion of an actual teapot. And with a lid on, we are ready to paint. Actually, before we paint, I want to deal with the body. Because apparently my bus has these white packs glued on and I cannot remove them to do a head swap. So while we are still here with Apollo, I'm just gonna drill the packs off. Some of them came off really easily, while others are getting destroyed like the one on Buzz's butt. But I don't care about the back, so as long as we get him open, I'm willing to accept a Mrs. Ness bid with an inflamed butthole. It's pretty easy after it's opened up, we just gotta unscrew one more screw at the bottom, cut this off, and we can screw our 3D printed head with the same screw, and it will be secured. Also, I'm glad to report that our teapot has been scaled nicely and the palm can hold onto it with no issues. Finally, we can paint. Like we have always done, I am cheating by using white primer to deal with the white parts first, then we can do some masking around the teapot handle and mask the eyes with some blue tag and a toothpick. The teapot is straightforward, just some paint for the handle and the lid. Then for bus, I mean Mrs. Nesbitt, I will paint the purple first, mask the face with some blue tag and toothpick again, then we are going to reset the canvas with some more white primer, and we'll move on to the beige. Okay, from here on out, we will be doing some hand brushing. So let's unmask the sides to do some touching up along the edges. And we can unmask the eyeballs to reveal her beautiful white eyes. So I used to be really nervous with applying water slide decals, but after doing it so many times on this channel, I'm kinda numb to it now. This one's slightly different because we have to trim one of it to make it look like it's going into the skull. Then we can apply it on the eyeball and set it with some decal softener. And that looks amazing. Now do the same for the other side, move it into place and ta-da! Paint the brows, dry brush some blushes, and we can do some better damage to the overall body because Mrs. Nesbitt does not shower, and give the prince a final glossing with floor polish, and we are done! Mrs. Nesbitt completed with custom printed fabric and a custom sculpted head sculpt. The fabric is a little thin so there's a lot of creases and I accidentally glued too much on the waistband so I'm pretty upset about that but oh well. Her face looks great, her head looks great but I didn't make it and she has her iconic teapot with her broken arm. I hope this video does well so that I can make more Toy Story videos in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.